Jim. Carol. Jim. Carol. Would, would you like to come in? Carol. Would you like something to drink? Do you have any Dr. Pepper? No, we have Coke. <sighs> Jim, it's been so long. What has? Since I've seen you. Carol, leaving you is never my intention. You see, after the accident of 85, I never wanted to go near another mustard production facility again. But that's beside the point. The point is, Carol, that I'm back. And I came back for you. But Jim, why did you leave in the first place? Well, I joined the military and I traveled around the world with a fast-talking Irishman and a wise-cracking parrot by the name of Bernard. After I got deported, I knew it was time to come home. You got deported? Carol, the past is behind us and slightly to the left if you have a lazy eye. But all that matters is that I'm here now and we can finally be together again just like what we'd always thought we would be now a long time ago. Jim, I've spent so much time without you. I've tried to move on with my life. I got into Portuguese style wrestling, violent bicycling. I even joined a support group for recovering Celtic racists. I mean, I've never hated them, but their cookies were just so delicious and- Not only do I have no idea what you're talking about, I also get indigestion from senseless rants. You know that, Cheryl. Carol. It doesn't have to be that way anymore. This is our chance to pick up where we left off. There's something I have to tell you, John. Jim. There's someone else. Where? I mean, I'm living with someone else. You mean, this isn't your house? I'm sorry? I said, this isn't your house? No, I mean, there's someone here living with me. Another man. <laughs> You're not a man, Carol. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm dating a man, and he lives here with me. When you left, I was heartbroken. I needed a man and a steady two years of ibuprofen and methamphetamine. How could you do this to me? He drives a Lambo, Jim. You mean my Razor scooter wasn't good enough for you? His name is Bob. He should be home any minute. Bob is a stupid short name for William. Sorry I'm late, Meryl. I got caught in traffic. Then I had to go to the store and pick up some coke, because all we have is freaking Dr. Pepper in the fridge. <sighs> you lied to me! Jim, I didn't know! No, it's too late for that, Harold. Uh, Bob, this is my friend Tim. Jim? Do you know how to fix the cable box? No. That's funny. You look like a salesman. You don't even know her. I spent the better half of 13 years and the lesser half of six weeks with this woman. And you don't even understand what we had or who we are to each other. <laughs> I'll have money, guy. Jim, what we had is over now. Bob is the man in my heart. Remember all the good times we had, Peril? We had soup on the porch. Soup! Soup! That soup left me a long time ago and is now a filtered liquid in the sewer somewhere now. Just like our love. Ouch. That hurts. Take your base. Hey. Sugar bunk and bosom. Gross. Do we have any more chips? Or do I have to get back in that Satan spawn traffic and blow up some Allah forsaken cars and then go back to that demon forsaken store to get some more? I can't bring back what we had. And I can't bring back that soup. Even though I wish I could. 
so I could serve to my mother-in-law so she wouldn't think I was a poopy cook. I can't believe you would choose Martin over me. Martin did up and join the army, Jim. Don't you say my name to me like it's my name. I'm Bob. It's short for William. You have to go, Jim. Take your memories with you. But you must leave this place. I mean, technically, you're not even allowed in the complex without a pass. I'll leave. But I want you to know that someday, in love's most hopeless hour, I will find you again. And we will be together, just like we had always envisioned our lives together. We will flock to the skies with our love. And we will dream forevermore on the clouds of peace. I will fall into those deep blue oceans on your face that some people call eyes. And you will dive in after me and save me, because you're a much better swimmer than I am. Elizabeth, our time is approaching. And our reign of affection shall last a thousand years. I will avenge our broken relationship. Hey! Didn't fix the cable box. Once there was a man named Jim and his chances for love looked grim because of that Bob he came in and took Jim's job that silly Bob it was his love that he did rob and Carol was clueless to Jim who did do this. Beyond and the best is.